Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This isn't my desktop. It is Zerg Dog's desktop, and we're using GoToMeeting, which is now a sponsor of our program here at live.perillo.com. If you can't tell on Zerg Dog's screen, he's going to show us how to make glow-in-the-dark text on Photoshop CS3. And right now I've got him on a uh, Skype connection, so if audio sounds weird, that's that's why. So Zerg Dog, take her away. Okay, well, first of all, well, that's wants to minimize. I guess not. Um, you go up, you know, create yourself a nice new picture. Um, dimension depends on how big you want it. So large or small. <laughs> yeah. You go. You get. You got this. Um, it's up to you if you want to have a background, keep it transparent or not. I'm gonna go ahead and put a black on here and make it easier. Okay. Now the background is so, some weird little shade of gray. Um, go over here. You select your text tool. Make a little text box. Type in what you want. Whoop. That's actually not a bad font either. Yeah, I'll send you later. Uh, don't worry about it. Just Chris is cool. That that's good enough. Anyways, then you go over here. Slot. Gosh dang it. A different layer. Yeah, but it switch on to the other one. Anyways, you go over here to the other layer with your text. Go to blend the option. Right click. Go to blend options. You get this menu. In the menu, you should see either outer or inner glow. Um, it depends which one you want. Um, I'm gonna do outer glow. Um, it has a default color, as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a um, green. Um, yeah, let's do green. Green's a good glow. So you're going with a rich green. And you can. Oh wow. Here. Wow, that Make was, it as big as you want. That was deceptively simple. Oh, nice. I honestly and had no idea it was that easy. <laughs> there you go. Wow. You get going to dark text. That that is simple. Well, if, if you want to make it really look good, um, what I normally do is I have it on black text with black background and second. So that hasn't been rasterized yet, so you can still go back and edit the text. That's great. Oh, it would nice. never look like that. On oh, a black. that's great. So you just changed the font face color. That's yeah. awesome. That's a pretty sweet trick, I'd say. Yeah. So do you work in Photoshop a lot, just kind of casually? Yeah, or? I do a lot of graphic designing with websites. Oh. Anything we might have seen? Um, I highly doubt it. It's hosted off my computer. I'm still working on programming it. Uh, for base code cause um, PH, PHP nuke. Um, actually, if you want, I'll show you it. Sure, might as well. This is the one thing that I, I'm really enjoying uh, about using GoToMeeting is number one, getting a chance to you know interact with everybody out there. Number two, just getting a chance to peek into everybody's own little world, what they do, how they do it, what their desktop looks like. I mean, GoToMeeting is typically used by uh, corporations and businesses, you know, to save time, money. Uh, and, and doing screen sharing live and in real time between one computer and another. And that's pretty much what we're doing here, just, uh, you know, I guess in a different capacity, but not a bad one by any stretch of the imagination. The nice thing is, is a 45-day, uh, like, free, unlimited demo. You could host as many meetings as you wanted to just to give it a shot. And ultimately, I mean, if you're doing work for somebody else, using a, a go-to meeting would be probably cheaper than it would be to drive, even drive across town, take time off, and and show them the same thing that you would show them, or you could and show there, of them. Of course, you can. Yeah, right you can see one of my examples of the glow text using a transparent text, but it still goes around the around the edges. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see that. It's it's yeah. barely perceptible on the stream right now because we're having to re-encode it, but I I can see it. That's that looks pretty solid. Very nice. Well, thank you for the tip. It's a really neat tip. No problem. Simple tip, and uh, hopefully, you know, as as we. Uh, keep marching forward with this uh, the concept of, of go-to meeting, uh, we will 
be, uh, well, I guess for the lack of a better word, uh, be helping people, uh, you know, by letting the community take over and take control of the live stream, uh, whether we're recording those sessions or not, or we just happen to say, well, uh, let's uh, see what everybody else is doing out there, and then kind of hand it over to the community. So certainly, we appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> We appreciate any kind of help and any kind of assistance, and uh, if anybody else has any questions, you can email me, chris at perillo.com, and even if I don't know the answer to it, I'm certainly not a Photoshop expert, wouldn't even know how to do that, um, but uh, if you have any other questions, concerns, suggestions, tips, whatnot, you can swing by our live chat room anytime, day or night, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and uh, you know where that's located, right, Zerg Dog? Yeah, I'm right on there. Where is it? Live.perla.com. <laughs> Very good.